Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Welcome if you're a returning subscriber. Today I have a special video for you, one that's taken me an entire week of experimentation to figure out. And that is what would happen if I only wore my nice clothes for a week? I don't know about you, but I definitely have clothes that I save for special occasions. And oftentimes those are the most expensive clothes I own, but I think, well, it's just not a special enough day to wear them. Now this might be shocking to you, but even as a style content creator, I don't usually dress that nice. Um, I would say every other day I look stylish, but the opposite days I'm just sitting on my computer working all day. So I'm like, what's even the point of dressing up? So that's where my reasoning was. And I wondered what would happen if I actually wore a stellar outfit every day for a week? Would I feel differently about myself? Would I behave differently? Would it make me more bold with my ideas and expression? I really don't know how it's going to go, so we shall see. But for today, even though I'm doing editing, I thought I'll just wear a cute little outfit. So this top is from Lily Silk and it is today's sponsor. I can't think of a better sponsor for this topic of wearing your nice thing because consistently the nicest pieces in my wardrobe are from Lily Silk. Let me show you some of the beautiful clothes that Lily Silk just sent to me. Okay, for this try on, I wanted to show you three pieces that Lily Silk sent to me from their early fall collection. First, we have this flattering and versatile black halter top. Second, these sumptuous silk trousers that truly feel like luxury in a garment. And lastly, a rich burgundy silk blouse that I'll show you styled next. Here's how I'll be styling these pieces throughout the fall season. So if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, you know I'm very particular about what I bring into my wardrobe, but I've been purchasing Lily Silk's premium silk and cashmere pieces for a couple of years now, so I can really attest to their quality and their wearability. For my long-term subscribers, you'll remember this decadent silk blouse that I wore all throughout the winter, <laughs> but my favorite reason for buying Lily Silk is the value. I wanna feel luxurious, but I also wanna feel happy with the price I paid and Lily Silk checks both boxes. This month, they're celebrating their 12th anniversary, and for their anniversary sale, they're offering buy one, get one 25% off. And on top of that, since you're a smart little lady who watches my channel, I have two discount codes for you. First, you can get 12% off everything with the code PRISCA12, or get 15% off of orders over $350 with the code PRISCA15. And remember, both of these codes are combinable with the site-wide BOGO 25% off deal. Now, as much as silk looks luxurious, it feels even more luxe. You've heard me say a dozen times that I dislike polyester, and that's because it looks nice, but it feels terrible on the skin. And most satin pieces today are 100% polyester. Check your labels. However, silk is a luxe material because it's soft as a cloud, it's breathable for us women who run hot, and it drapes your body like a Greek statue. It's also lightweight, especially the two tops I'm showing here. They're quite thin and they're airy, which is why I'll be wearing them throughout the fall. To purchase any of these pieces, click the link in the description box and I'll be sure to leave the discount codes down there as well. Now let's look at what I'll be wearing for my week of nice clothes. Okay, so I just finished up work for the day. It was hours and hours behind my computer, which is, you know, fine. And I will say that this did make me feel a little bit more focused today as I was working. So we'll see if that lasts or if it's just, hey Russ, what's it called when you trick yourself into believing something because you tell yourself it works? Bias effect? No, what is it? Self-prophesying? No. Placebo. Okay, I don't know if it's a placebo effect because I'm just starting this and I'm expecting that I will perform better at work, but it definitely worked today. So I don't know. We'll see how the rest of the week goes. 
It is day two of the experiment and for today's outfit, I just went with a pretty simple little mini dress that I'll wear with some strappy heels and a handbag when I go out later today. But today I'm going to be decluttering. So I needed something kind of simple to throw on and, you know, still feel cute about myself. So let's get ready. Welcome to day three of this experiment. So for today's outfit, I just put on what I already styled the other day, which is just one of the best things about being a style content creator is that I'm forced to create outfits from the get go. And then on days like today, when I don't feel like putting together an outfit, I just resort to something I've already done that I know is stylish. So, ta-da. So it's been a full week of wearing my nice clothes and I want to give you my three predominant thoughts coming out of this experiment. But before I do, I have to tell you that this idea, this video was inspired by one that Rajiv Surendra did. And you might not think you know that name, but do you remember in Mean Girls, the rapping mathlete Kevin Apoor? Yo, 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 oh, you ain't got nothing on me. For my grades, remember, I'm DK Touch, Kevin G, I'm a mathlete, so nerd is inferred. That guy. So Rajiv is completely different from the character that he played 20 years ago. He actually has a really great YouTube channel where he talks about some deeper meaning life stuff. And he had a video titled, Why You Should Use Your Nice Things Every Day. And you'll have to watch that video to hear his conclusions, but here's what I learned from this experiment. Number one, we're all dying. I'm 33 years old, so the most I will likely live is maybe another 70 years. But the idea of leaving this earth with a whole bunch of stuff in my closet that I never wore because I was waiting for the right time to wear it that never came, that's just kind of depressing to me. But more deeply, the idea of leaving this earth with ideas that I never pursued because I was waiting for someday, one day to happen, that's even more sad. I would hate to wake up one day, maybe during a midlife crisis and think, what the hell have I been doing with my life? Someone wise once said, everybody dies, but not everybody really lives. For me, the simple act of getting dressed properly for the day, ready to interact with my environment, with the people around me, that is enough to make me feel like I am more fully living every day. So ask yourself, are you living fully? Are you saving things in the vault for someday one day hoping that it happens. But that's when I came to conclusion number two, getting dressed every day is actually annoying. There were a couple of days this week that I just wanted to wear my leggings, my loungewear. I was going to be working behind my computer anyway, so what's even the point of getting dressed? And I didn't know if I would continue with this experiment, except for the fact that I started this video and that was enough accountability to me. I'm just stubborn about if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it fully. And that's when I realized conclusion number three, that it's not all or nothing. 
realistically I probably won't get dressed properly outfit hair makeup every day for the rest of my life but I will probably do it more consistently maybe one day a week I kind of can be loungy but most days I am either filming or editing or just wanting to go run errands and, and live fully but I really liked how throughout this week I was more focused I was more creative and maybe that was a bit of self-fulfilling prophecy because I dressed like I was highly capable so I worked like I was highly capable and in the end I felt like I was highly capable and whether it's the chicken or the egg it doesn't matter it worked so I definitely think I will be using this as a tactic to stay more focused especially when I'm working from home and for being excited to partake in any spontaneous plans that rise up so those are my three conclusions from this experiment. Feel free to try it yourself. And I wanna thank again, Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate having such beautiful garments in my wardrobe to practice wearing my nicer things more often. If you'd like to shop any of the pieces that I showed you and especially use that extra discount code I have, I will leave that in the description box down below. I'll see you next week with a brand new video. Until then, take care.